Hey guys, Turtle here, and today I'm introducing you guys to the new snapshot for Minecraft, which is pretty much a pre release of Minecraft 1.3. Now I'm going to show you the features of it. So, Minecraft 1.3 will have a demo version, so non premium users can also use the game for a while, or I don't know. That's not officially released completely with details, but it said that in the full version there will be a demo mode. So that's something to look out for for new people to Minecraft. And yeah, pretty interesting thing. Now let's create a new world and show the other features. So first we go to just create new world and then click on more world options. Now we can load cheats. Let's turn it on and bonus chests. So both of those are pretty much beginner features, at least the bonus chests and the low cheats is quite interesting for some other things. So let's do done and yeah, I think the rest should be fine. And let's create the new world. Also, tell me if you like the thing with the music in the background or if it's too loud or something. Yeah, just found it kind of interesting to try that out. So, the first thing is those bonus chests. So this is a feature for the new people to Minecraft which are really beginners and yeah. So when you spawn you have one of those chests next to you which will include a few items there pretty much randomly generated but they are mostly like beginner tools or wood and yeah so you got what you need in the beginning often there's also a pickaxe or a normal axe so I could instantly get some stone now if I'd want to and if I didn't know how to craft stuff and yeah that kind of stuff and also would have some food for my first day now the other feature is the in-game or single-player commands. So by pressing T, just like in multiplayer, you can open this yeah little bar where you can type stuff in. But let's delete that because the chat is pretty much <laughs> senseless in single-player. But now if we do a slash and then press tab, we can see all the different commands. So there's slash game mode which we are in survival game mode right now. So if we type game mode, then my name or your Minecraft name, and then for example, one. Okay, one is not, a oh yeah. Only slash game mo mode and then two for example. Now two is survival mode and one should be, ah. God, I'm really sorry for that. It's a bit weird at the moment. So, now we switch to creative mode by typing in slash game mode and then one. So, this is a quite nice way to switch between survival and creative in-game without any mods or help of something else. So, now the next command, which is kind of interesting, is the XP command. You can give yourself up to 5000 experience. Let's quickly switch to survival again so we can see the bar and we got 52 levels out of that. So you can do slash XP and then the amount of XP you want to give yourself. So 5000 is the highest I think. Now we would be 74 and could do quite some nice enchanting. So the slash gift command is Pretty much senseless if you're in creative mode, but kind of interesting if you're not. So you can just wait. I'm gonna try that like this first. Okay, works like that too. So you do slash gif, then the mount, let's say 10, and then for example 7. Now we got ourselves some bedrock, which you usually can't get in the game. So yeah, that's ki kind of interesting. Yeah, if you want to give yourself more, you seem to have to do it like this. Gifts, ah, space, your name, 
then the item and then the amount. See how now I gave myself 10 bedrock. So what else is in there slash game mode toggle downfall which isn't that interesting to me because like I don't want rain in any ah, no I just don't like rain and slash kill usually kills yourself so this is kind of senseless but yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want more of those update videos when the snapshot comes out please leave a rating on this video whether it's good or bad I can understand it yeah so thanks for watching bye bye